Hey everyone, how's it going today? Uh, today we're going to be going through the Smuggler's Run uh, DLC that launched today. Uh, we're going to do the uh, setup mission and then we're actually also going to do a quick sell mission just to kind of see what that's like. Uh, we're also going to kind of go through some of the new items. There's some new clothing. Uh, as you see in the loading screen here, there's also a new adversary mode called Motor Wars. Uh, we'll check that out later as well. Um, but there's a lot of new clothing. Uh, there's actually also some new masks, so we'll be uh, going and checking out that as well. Um, and we'll also be talking about some of the vehicles that uh, have been released and some of the vehicles that haven't been released. Um, I'll do a full video on that later, uh, just because I've, I've got to get some pictures for you guys. So that way you guys can see some of the vehicles that aren't released yet, because they are pretty cool. Um, and so we'll be talking about that as well. Um, in this video and we'll be talking about it in a later video too when I can actually get the the photos up into the video for you guys Okay, so here are some of the new planes. Uh, there's only about three or four of them uh, in war stock currently, um, and some of them are uh, from the one that the ones that we've seen from uh, the trailer as well. Uh, we'll come over to Elitus. I believe there's just these three at the top here, um, and they all look pretty neat. Um, I got to say that personal helicopter on the left side there is definitely, definitely interesting. Uh, they also did release a couple new cars. I think only like one or two. The Grotty Vision, I think is what that was. And then um, the Vapid Renit 2. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but yeah, those are all of the vehicles. And we'll go, we'll go through those a little bit more in detail a little later on I actually kind of like click on a couple of them and show you guys uh, a little bit of the description uh, nothing new at Benny's though unfortunately I was kind of hoping that we might get a new Benny's car but that's all right um, nothing in Doc T's I've you know I wasn't sure if there would be or not with it being an aerial thing so I was just mostly looking through all of uh, the websites and I'm pretty sure that's about it for vehicles uh, that they've released and so uh, we know from the trailer that there's plenty of other vehicles to come out and like I said we'll talk about that a little bit later and in another video as well. Uh, now here are all of the um, hangers that you can get. Now I really wanted to get uh, one of these three, the Fort Zancudo ones. They're all priced at what was that first one yeah two million to about three million dollars and then uh, the other two at the at the bottom are actually the cheapest ones that you can buy uh, this one is 1.2 and this one is 1.5 uh, I do end up picking this 1.2 and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys it a little bit Okay, here we are. Okay, just took a few more seconds, I guess. Uh, but these are all of the different kind of skins that you can get for just the out, like the inside look of it. You can even change the lighting. Uh, when I when I get my uh, hanger, I actually just I don't really put anything in it. I just buy it straight the way it is. Uh, I'll do any upgrades later on. Uh, but they are pretty neat. I'd have to say my favorite one is probably the compass for that floor graphics. You can also change your office. Um, I'm probably not going to change mine. I feel like that's kind of just a waste of money. Um, the living quarters, I do plan on buying the cheap one. Um, and I'm not too sure what the workshop is. 
facility for you to work on your aircraft. Okay, so we will have to get that. That kind of sucks because I really didn't want to because it adds like another million on to it. Oh, oh, so we did get our bunker. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go and check out the masks real quick, actually. Uh, these are actually really cool. They, in, they introduced a whole lot of new ones, and so I'll let you guys just kind of like hang out and watch these because they're, they're pretty interesting. Okay, so next we're actually going to go and check out, uh, we're not going to check out all the clothes right now, we're actually just going to check out uh, the outfits, uh, some of the outfits anyways. And I gotta say, um, some of their outfits are actually pretty good, they got some new flight suits uh, that you'll see here in just a moment, and just quite a few good outfits I think. Okay, so here we have our flight suits, and I gotta say my favorite one is probably that white one right there. It may, I think it makes you look like an astronaut. And yeah, the rest aren't too terribly bad looking. Uh, let's see, then our next one is gonna be uh, air racing suits, so that's kinda neat. Uh, these ones aren't too bad, I do like the helmets on them. I think they look pretty neat with the mask and everything. And, oh, are we, okay, my bad. I guess we're not going to check out the last ones quite yet. I thought I had, but I guess I had done that later. Um, I was actually just really excited as soon as I woke up and got on this morning to uh, check out everything and mostly check out the hangar and how that works. And... I gotta say, it seems like it kind of works a little bit like our, uh, 
our CEO warehouses with the crates and everything. It seems like it kind of works like that, but you you guys will see uh, later on in this video how uh, kind of how the bunker works a little bit. It's not or not the bunker. I'm sorry, the hangar. It's actually not too bad. And now here I'm just gonna kind of go and kind of go through the uh, upgrades again for that uh, for the bunker that I had purchased just in case if you guys didn't get a good look at all the prices or anything um, I believe that's what I'm gonna do oh wait no I'm just letting okay here I'm just letting you guys see what all the prices are from it a little bit better uh, than before I don't know what I'm doing right here, actually. I'm really confused. Okay, there we go. We are going to go back to the prices. Okay. So the skins go from anywhere between one to 320,000, it seems. The lighting... That adds just 50,000. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. The flooring goes from 95... All the way to about two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, whoops! Yeah, let me change that real quick. I don't want to add that on accident or anything. Let's see. Okay, so one hundred ninety-five thousand for the traditional and the modern. I can't remember how much that was. Okay, so two thirty-five to about three seventy-five thousand, and then one point. One million dollars, pretty much, for uh, the workshop. So that's that's pretty hefty, right there. That's why I kind of just stuck with the basic. I didn't want to sink all the money that I had into my hangar alone, because I do want to have money for some of these cool vehicles. And here we are with uh, some of them now. We have the Molotov, um, and then we have the Tula here pretty expensive about four to five million dollars okay not too bad and here's a little brief description for you guys if you want to take a second to read that uh, oh geez did you see those upgrades uh, here's the rogue now this one doesn't look too bad this is about 1.2 to about 1.6 million dollars uh, and then we have the LF oh, I didn't get this Starling, Starlink, something like that, about 2.8 million or so to about 3.6 or 3.7, I think. Uh, over to Elitis, uh, the hang glider, the ultralight, it's about 500,000 to about 665,000. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Ex what I expected for the vehicle. Here is the Havoc, the personal little helicopter I can't per I can't wait for it it's about 1.7 to 1 uh, 2.3 million dollars and then the Alpha Z1 1.6 to about 2.2 million dollars and it says the top speed is routinely fatal so it makes me think that this is is this maybe also a jet as well or is it just a super fast plane and as you see here, there doesn't seem to be any new, any other new ones, I don't believe. But this one, I can't wait for, I can't wait to see some of the cool things that you could, you could possibly do with this. Okay, so now we're going to, we're headed over to the bunker to uh, do our uh, setup and everything. I'm actually going to hop off the mic here. So that way you guys can hear everything that Ron's saying to you because it's kind of weird. And, you know, Ron's just a weird guy. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off the mic for you and let you guys listen to uh, the cutscene here. Not 
nonsense from you, and you'll join them. I've got a space weapon from Russia. A Russian hacker space weapon. And I'm going to liquidize you, just like I did to your friends. Yes, liquidize. Ow! Hey, hi. You're trying to kill me? Oh, God, no! Oh, oh, you're my new partner. You bought into the place. You're late. What kept you? Yeah, well, it's too late. Ah, that bastard Trent. Uh, my best friend? Oh, he's supposed to protect me forever? Then he goes all Vinewood on me. He's too important for Ron now, but he's a guru. He's a lifestyle coach. I don't know what he is. I bet he's got abs. Oh. I am so alone. I just shot two government agents in the head. I mean, I hope they're government agents. I'm screwed. We're screwed. Where's that mechanic? Oh, I mean, that's the only reason I, I let them in. Because I thought it was gonna be him. Ooh, who's that? Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Oh, hey, boss, is that what I get? Well, you're getting a sandwich, I'm getting killed. These two people came to kill me. Not him. He's your new boss. Well, a co-boss with me. This is Charlie. He was in the Air Force. He was accused of a crime he didn't commit. Innocent mistake. Planes crash. He was the fall guy. You know how the deep state is. Ch Charlie, get to work. Ignore the corpses. So, anyway. Business is good, and business and we can possibly handle. And on the other, I'll be surprised if we're not killed in the next 48 hours. Come on, let me give you a tour. Then I can deal with this mess while you get to work. And it's really pretty obvious. Okay, now, this is the office where I, uh, we, I mean we, equal partners, we, you, senior partner, run the business. Now, this is the computer. It's very secure. We lose this, and we're all dead now. This is where the job's coming through. Yeah? So you can check it out? Okay? Okay, let's move on. Now back here is where we store cargo. Now nothing too dodgy. Mostly untaxed cigarettes, stolen pharmaceuticals, and industrial chemicals. But we'll run pretty much anything. Now back there is where you can store any aircraft that we... I mean, you haven't left out here on the main floor. You got plenty of room. I think we can probably take all the planes we'd need. But then, I've never had more than one. Now over there is where we can put an aircraft workshop if we want. I mean, it's your call, of course. I mean, Charlie obviously would be grateful for the work. Right, Charlie? Ha! No, hey, hey, he's a brilliant engineer. He's an avionic mastermind. Just strangely underemployed. We get along great. Give me a hand with these bodies. Oh, I better dump these at sea. Ah! Ooh, ah! Then I got a little radio thing, but I'll be in touch. I am so glad you're here. You're the best friend I've had, and I mean that. Don't let me down! Okay, guys, what do you think of that? I thought that was pretty weird. Um, I have a quick theory about it, uh, though. Uh, Ron had said that his best friend, Trev, had gone all Vinewood on him, and I thought that was kind of weird. That puts it, that puts us like in the in in the story, because. Trev Trevor, by the time he came to Vinewood, was after Michael and all that, looking for, for answers. But where at in the story are we? Because online is now starting to time in with story mode, it seems like. And I don't know about you, but Ron seemed like, like he was ready to get the hell out of Los Santos, out of Sandy Shores and Blaine County. I don't know. That's just my theory, though. Um... Real quick, guys, yes, we are doing the uh, setup mission, I believe. 
And yes, I did, I did skip ahead to this just because I was trying to make this clip a little bit shorter for you guys. Um, because it, it really wasn't anything too special. It's honestly just flying this plane. That is literally all you have to do for the setup is go and kill those two guys. At least that's what I did. And I drove this plane back. And yes, you can use the guns on it by pressing X. Uh, so you don't need a uh, you don't need a second player in there to to use a gun. So that's pretty that's pretty nice. So I gotta say, like that'd be kind of annoying. But you can also switch from the pilot seat to the gunner seat. So I mean, again, kind of interesting. Okay, and so we're coming in, and I think we may be skipping ahead. Nope, okay. Alright, went back down to regular time. So I'm going to hop off the mic and let it kind of catch you up to speed. Okay, so here we are uh, back at our free trade shipping company. And now as you see, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different kinds of products that uh, we have laid out in front of us. And down below that we also have like how well our business is doing like any other, any other business, you know. Um, we can also steal rival crates too. I thought that was very interesting. Um, and there's also a cargo type bonus, which we'll see here shortly. Because uh, when you actually click on, you can barely see. I'm trying to get on that little green line there, just to click on it, and it takes us takes me a quick second. But here we have eight different products. Okay. You can go and collect for each one of those. You can specifically... Somebody just walked past the door. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It was just somebody leaving some some kind of doorknob thing on my door. Um, but you can, yeah, you can go and sell, like... Like, you can go and get just animal materials or counterfeit goods. And depending on which one you go for, uh, the difficulty is going to be harder. So like, oh, okay, so we're going to sell real quick, actually. That's right. I'm sorry. But I will have, I will have a video so, up here uh, after a little while about, um, about how, more about how that all kind of works from what I've already played so far. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys kind of watch this video. And I'll be back uh, right towards the end to finish off with you guys.
All right, guys. So that was one of the cell missions. I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different every time. I'm sure eventually you'll end up getting the same the same one. But either way, that is this cell mission. Anyways, pretty pretty easy. Um, I gotta say, I I do like the DLC. It is a little frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. I did get mad at it already. Uh, but it is pretty exciting. I gotta say, I'm excited to see the hunter become available to us and all sorts of other stuff. Um, I'm gonna have a couple other videos up later uh, about the DLC for you guys. And so be sure to uh, check back uh, for those videos as well. And just thank you everybody for stopping by for the video. And if you did enjoy it, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank <laughs> you.